Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be quite a big makeup haul. Over the past couple of weeks, I have bought quite a lot of makeup-y things and now I seriously need to go on a spending ban, like, for So real. I'm just gonna get straight into it. So the first couple of things, well, five things that I'm going to show you are these Tanya Burr lip glosses. If you have a Watt Brothers where you live, I'm not sure if that's just a Scottish thing because I'm almost positive you don't get Watt Brothers in England, but I could be wrong so I think it's just in Scotland you get them. But anyway, the Watt Brothers where I live were doing Tanya Burr lip glosses for 99p and they had like all of the colours. Um, now I already have one in my drawer back there. Yeah, I have Aurora already and then I got five more. So anyway, yeah, these were 99p so I was like, I'll just get five. So I went for two nudie shades. This one here is called Daydream and this one here is called Champagne Toast. Then I got two pinky shades which are very, very similar. Um, this one here is called Afternoon Tea. And then this other one is just Peachy. And this colour here, the last one, um, is called Enchanted Forest, which is obviously very, very different to the other four shades, but it is very, very beautiful. These lip glosses are so nice um, on their own, but I tend to wear them on top of like a lip liner or a lipstick. I just think um, they look a lot nicer that way, personally. Um, just because some of the colours don't have a lot of pigmentation, but then sometimes it's nice to just have a sheer little bit of lip gloss on your lips. But yeah, so there are my five Tanya Burr lip glosses. I was in Superdrug not that long ago, um, a couple of weeks ago, and the Makeup Revolution like stand bit, um, they had the foiled, um, what are these called? Wild eyeshadows, they had them and these were both only £3 and they're normally £5 because I have the rose gold one and it's amazing. So these were £3 each so I was like, they are going straight in my basket. That was such a bad impression of that Facebook guy but anyway, moving on. So I got the shades Pure Platinum and Black Diamond. The description of these foiled eyeshadows is basically a full metallic foil finish. Liquid primer makes it all day wear. Build up for more of a <laughs> build up for more of an intense look. So I've just opened up the silver one, and you just basically get a tray, which is your mixing tray, and this is the liquid eye primer, and then this is obviously your foiled eyeshadow. So you basically just scrape some. And put it on the tray and then mix in this and then mix it together and pop it on your eye. If I'm being honest I don't always use this because I am just lazy so sometimes I do just apply it with my finger not a brush I just that's the way I like to apply it with my finger onto my eye and just miss out this step because yeah I just, I'm a wee bit lazy sometimes. I'm not sure if those foiled eyeshadows from Makeup Revolution are um, discontinuing, sorry, excuse me, um, because I'm not sure why they were £3, like unless they were just on sale or if they are discontinuing them, but I think I'd be very upset if they were because they are honestly so so good Next, for the Next I got some nail polishy things, so because I do my own gel nails sometimes, like I got my nails done today actually, but sometimes I do do my nails myself. And I actually have my own gel nail kit, so I bought a Blue Sky gel nail polish, this is in the safe shade. Shade. CH17. It's basically just this purpley, bluey, glittery colour which is amazing and stunning and I can't wait to wear it. Another nail polishy item is this top coat from Sesh Vite. I am sure you've heard of this before. A lot of people here on YouTube talk about this. It's basically just a dry, fast um, top coat. So those days where you haven't painted your nails and you're leaving your house in like 10 minutes and you're like oh my god I do not have enough time to paint my nails. 
and wait for them to dry. Well, it's fine because if you have this, you can quickly paint your nails and pop this on and it is quite fast drying. Um, I'd say it takes like a minute to two minutes to dry, which isn't that long at all because normally sometimes, for me anyway, I find that other top coats take like five to ten minutes, which is annoying because you can't touch anything or anything. You literally just have to sit for ten minutes like Mm, can't do anything, need to wait. I believe this was like £8 or something on Amazon and I have used it a couple of times and it makes my nail polish super glossy as well. It's amazing. As you can see, you get quite a lot of um, product in the bottle. It's 14 mils, so I'm pretty sure this will last me quite a while. I actually forgot I bought this. This is another nail polishy thing. It is a little pot like so, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this colour. Anyway, this is by Nails Inc. This is their Express Nail Polish Remover. Dip in your nails for super fast and effective polish removal. Basically, I am one of those people that absolutely hate taking my nail polish off. I hate getting your nail polish and putting on a cotton pad and rubbing. I just, I hate it. I hate it. So, when I heard about these, I just thought... That's amazing. Dip in your finger in one by one and it removes your polish. Amazing. I'm going to buy it. So it was £8 off Amazon again. This pot is quite big. It's 60ml, which I think that's that means how much nail polish is in the sponge. So I'm pretty sure this will last me quite a while. Also, if you're interested, the um, nail polish in this is acetone free, just because some people don't like acetone nail polish. So that's what it looks like inside. It is just a black sponge and you dip each finger in, you swirl it about um, for maybe five seconds and it just takes it off. Obviously the more nail polish coats you put on your nail it'll take longer to take off so you'll have to like swirl it about for longer. I've used this twice now and I am super impressed. Next I got some eyelashes. These are from Savers. Again with Watt Brothers I think Savers is just a Scottish thing but Again, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. So the Savers in my town has so many pairs of eyelashes recently. Like they only had a couple to start with when they opened and now they have so many that I was literally like, oh my God, I need to stop myself like from buying all of them. I just need to get one. So the brand I went for, this is Girls With Attitude. I believe that's the brand. That's what it says at the top. So yeah. Um, and this is their English Rose collection and they're in the style Gracie. I don't know if you can get these online. If I can find a link I will leave it in the description but um, yeah they sell them at Savers and these remind me a lot of the Ardell Wispies. They are just very wispy and yeah they're just really really nice. I'm super excited to wear these. I'll try wearing them in a tutorial so you can see what they look like on. From Savers again they had this on deal. I believe this was only like four pounds and you get a micellar. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Um, yeah they have a, basically a makeup remover and a moisturiser in this and it was only like four pounds and I was like I need that I'm gonna have that because I needed both anyway and I was saving like four pounds um, like if I bought them separately I'd be spending more so it was a deal. This is a three-in-one I believe it cleanses tones and takes off makeup too amazing because three steps in one I am down for that and the moisturiser is for the day and it contains vitamin E ceram ceramide um, and UV filter. I'm really excited to use both of these. I haven't used any of these products before really but um, I've heard that L'Oreal their skincare range is amazing so um, yeah. Okay, so I have a couple of makeup y bits from Rimmel London. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this eyeliner. I just needed a new liquid eyeliner because I don't actually have one anymore. I binned all of mine because most of them were very, very, very dried out. So I was just like, you know what, scrap that. I'm going to bend all of them and just buy a new one. So this one is the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner and I got it in the shade 100% Black. It's basically in this little pot here. It still has a little sticker bit on it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, and it's just like a little one that you dip in, which I actually prefer because I feel like this obviously won't dry out as fast as a pen, which all the ones I chucked in the bin were pens. So I feel like this will last me longer. As you can see, it is very, very black and pigmented. So 
I'm looking forward to being able to do liquid eyeliner again as I haven't done it for a while because all my pens were dried out. Next I got Rimmel's Lasting Finish 25 hour um, foundation and I got this in the shade 100 Ivory because you all know by now that I am really really pale unless I have fake tanned. So that is why I got Ivory which I believe is the lightest shade. I have used this before so I know that this foundation is amazing. Um, it basically is a medium to high coverage. It is buildable and it does last a really long time. I can't say I've tested it for 25 hours so I don't know if it would actually look really good for 25 hours straight and I don't think I will be testing that anytime soon so yeah but I can tell you that it is really really good the coverage is amazing and it just lasts really nice as well I'd say it's like a satin finish satin to matte but yeah more of a satin finish but I can't wait to wear this again it's so so good such an amazing thing the last thing I got from Rimmel was a mascara because Basically, I need a new mascara. I only have one. I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, which I swear by. It is amazing. And yeah, so I got this one here. And this is the waterproof, because I made sure it was waterproof, um, wonderful mascara with argan oil which I'm sure that will help with my lashes. I've used this before, just not the waterproof one, and I absolutely love the wand. It's just a rubber wand and it just basically gets on your lashes really, really well and just because of the, the because of the way the wand is, it doesn't make your lashes clumpy. It's just um, a really, really nice mascara. I like the finish that it gives my lashes. So yeah, I really, really okay, like it. Okay, so the last things I'm going to show you are from Real Techniques. I got their um, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So many people use this and I just haven't got on the bandwagon until now which I'm kicking myself for because everyone say everyone says that these sponges are amazing. It's actually smaller than what I thought it was going to be but I guess that's because it doesn't have any water on it because when you apply water to sponges obviously they get bigger but yeah it's quite wee at the moment but um, it just has a flat bit here and then like more of a tapered bit here which would be great for going under the eyes and this would be great to just pat on your foundation so I'm really really looking forward to um, using this. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that word? I don't know. But anyway I got this from Amazon and I believe it was like around about four or five pounds. I could be wrong but again I'll leave it in a link down below. I know this is really random but I also love the colour like I absolutely love orange just so you know. Okay so next I got this set this set is amazing. It's currently on deal on Amazon, I believe. I think it's £15. So yeah, I'd get your hands on it right now because um, I don't know how long it's going to be on sale for. You basically get five brushes and a little clutch bag to put them in for £15. So that is amazing. You get a multitask brush, a tapered foundation brush, which is exclusive to this pack. So you can't buy it separately um, or get it anywhere else. Um, and also another exclusive is the angled highlighter brush, then your base shadow brush which isn't exclusive and your fine liner brush which also isn't exclusive. So you get five brushes and out of those five brushes two are exclusive which is really cool. So this is what the little clutch bag kind of thing looks like. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this. Uh, just because I have other things I can put my brushes in so I think I'm gonna give it to someone in my family or my friend because I just won't get the use out of it although the bag is really really nice I just don't think I will use it okay so the first brush you get in the pack is the multitask brush and I've seen people use this for powder for putting on foundation for putting on primer so this really is a multitask brush it's in a beautiful pink metallic um, color as you can see um, and it's super super soft. The next brush is your tapered foundation brush. I absolutely used to hate using these brushes for foundation but this week I have been on my benefit training. If you didn't already know I am starting working for benefit in Glasgow. Um, anyway on the training when we were applying makeup to each other um, benefit do have a brush similar to this and it is like a flat 
flat brush. It's not like a kabuki style brush or anything. It is flat and at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this. And then by the end of the week I was like, oh my god, I love applying foundation with flat brushes now. So yeah, I will get so much use out of this because, yeah. I like applying foundation with flat brushes now. <laughs> and it's your eyeshadow brush, so this will just be good for applying like an all over lid colour or even because of the shape, it's a tiny bit tapered, it'd be good to um, really do precise precision work in the crease. I hope they were the right words to use for that. But you know what I mean, like popping um, colours right in the socket of the crease and making it look all flawless. Next is your angled highlighter brush. And it's just basically slanted and it's also again in the pink, which would be really, really nice for highlighting. I think I'm actually going to really like this brush. It's not too big, it's not too small. I think it is the perfect shape for applying highlighter because sometimes some of my brushes are a little bit too big, so they apply too much highlighter. Not that you can ever have too much highlighter, but yeah, I really think this brush is a really good size and I keep on doing this. Maybe I should stop. And lastly is your fine liner brush to apply like your gel liners. Um, I do have a gel liner um, but the brush that came with it isn't that good. I think it's too big and my liner when I apply it always ends up too thick and I just end up taking it off because I'm like, I don't like my eyeliner being too thick. I like it being not too thin but just not too thick. I do think this brush will be good at applying gel. So liners. guys, that's everything makeup-y wise that I have been buying recently. Um, I need to go on a spending ban. I just, yeah, sometimes I just go a little bit overboard and spend too much on things I don't really need. But I'm definitely going to be saving my money instead of just splashing out on things that I don't really need. But um, hey, buying makeup's always good, right? <laughs> I will see you in my next video which will be a makeup tutorial as I feel like I haven't done one in a while. I feel like, yeah, my last video was a haul as well. That's bad. I'll definitely make sure my next video is a makeup-y one. So I will see you then. Bye guys!